Hey there folks, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. We are at Lone Wolf Mountain, and guess what? It is time for an overnight adventure inside of the shed. We've been talking about this for a long time. It's time to do it. Also, folks, a winter storm is on the way. Now everyone, it is very, very late. It is already after two o'clock in the morning, and that's because, well, I'm a working man, and I've had to get like three days worth of work done so I could come out here for three days. This is a multi-day adventure. The storm will be coming in later on tonight, maybe in the morning. To be honest, I'm not even sure what the storm is going to do, what it's going to bring. Every report is so different. It's up in the air. I have no idea. So we may get a whole lot of something or a whole lot of nothing. That is how it goes in the mountains. I just looked at my phone here and it's actually three o'clock in the morning. Okay, well, my plan for the night is rather simple. Basically, I'm going to clean up the shed here. I'm going to find a stick and just rake up all of the leaves and debris that's on the ground. I wanna make sure that there's no critters in here. Then I'm going to set up the cot and call it a night. I'm beat, I'm tired. I'm sure you're wondering why I didn't wait till morning to come out here, and that's because the storm is supposed to start some point in time tonight. And because of that, I really didn't want to drive 50 miles in snow and ice and sleet. I mean, imagine 50 miles at 10 to 15 miles per hour. It takes all day, so it was just better just to come out here tonight after I got done working. All right, that is a whole lot better. As it stands right now, I'm in pretty good shape as far as the shelter goes. I'm really, really lucky that it's not windy right now. I mean, if it was windy, <laughs> I'd definitely have more work to do. Now, in the morning, I'll show you guys more about the shelter, the setup here. Tomorrow's going to be interesting, that's for sure. The weather's coming in, and to be honest, I am winging this. <laughs> totally winging it. I'll talk more about that in just a little bit. I'm going to set up the cot now. Come tomorrow, guys. We have a lot of work to do. As you all can see here, I'm using only the light from these kerosene lanterns, and that's because I want to see what it's like to work with this type of light and this type of light only. We are so accustomed to technology, headlamps, lanterns, battery-powered flashlights, and stuff like that. It's interesting to get out something like this and work with it. Now what I'm doing here is simply setting up my cot it's about 3.30. I've been working pretty hard cleaning out the inside of the shelter. I brought up some large logs, which will make awesome tables and chairs tomorrow. Well, the cot is ready, blankets are ready, using blankets for this adventure, no sleeping bags, and I'm absolutely beat. I'm very tired. <laughs> I need to get to sleep so I don't feel like raging butt come tomorrow. But uh, I'll show you all my setup here, and I will turn on the headlamp for that so you guys can actually see it, because this light is very dim. So as you can see there, I have my jacket, that's my pillow. I have this reflective pad that is supposed to be used in hammocks, but works really well on cots. And I have a couple of blankets. I tell ya, I am ready for bed. We'll see how warm I stay tonight. The one thing I do know is that tomorrow night, I'm going to be staying super warm, super warm. So, I have my blankets here, all covered up. This is super, super comfortable. 
<laughs> this is a pretty nice setup right here. Now tomorrow, I'm going to be working pretty hard on this setup. There's a lot that needs to be done. We need to seal this thing up somewhat, get the wood stove ready to go. By the way, the temperature tonight is right around 23 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, well, everybody, I'm going to bed. Too tired to keep my eyes open, too tired to talk. I will bring you all back in the morning. Guys, thank you all for joining me. Good night. Oh, man. Good morning, guys. It is roughly 10 o'clock in the morning, and it's pretty cold, pretty cold. Now, luckily, I'm pretty warm inside of these blankets. This really has worked well. Oh, man. But gosh, tonight is going to be so much warmer. My plan is basically to seal off the front door. Getting that wood stove going, that is my mission in life. Having that heat, oh, gosh. That is going to be so awesome, so awesome. As far as snow goes, right now, there isn't any. Uh, maybe like around six o'clock in the morning or something, it started snowing just a little bit. But since then, nothing that I'm aware of. I am glad that I got some sleep, finally. I have a little bit of a headache this morning. And that's just from a lack of sleep. I could take something if I need to, but uh, I'm going to get up, get some coffee going, and get started with this day. Got up, use the bathroom. The deer scattered like mad. This really should be called Deer Mountain or something. I did stay pretty warm last night though. This was a good combination of blankets here. This one gray blanket, this thing is gigantic. And I was able to just wrap that thing around me multiple times, very tight. Then I had the green blanket. And together, I stayed perfectly comfortable, perfectly warm. For this trip here, I really wanted to use an insulation layer that was easy to wash because it's going to smell like kerosene. It's going to smell like smoke by the time I'm out of here. I've got everything cleaned up in here, and it's time to take a look at the shed. The, the cool thing about the shed is that at the turn of the century, there used to be a logging setup and also a sawmill on this property. If you take the ridge down roughly a quarter of a mile, you can find the evidence of the old sawmill. It is because of the sawmill that we have this shed. Made from the trees that were sawed on this property. You can see the posts, the beams. That is all black locust right there. That will last forever, for absolute ever. That beam right there, that's wormy oak. Wormy oak, that's impressive. When was the last time that you saw wormy oak? It will be interesting to see what type of storm this ends up being because everybody is calling for something different. Some people are saying snow, sleet, freezing rain. I have no idea. My plan is to be here until at least Monday. Now right here is the wood stove. Many years ago, a family member gave me this stove. I lugged it up here. This thing weighs like 150 pounds easy. So I was able to get it inside of the shed and it has basically set here. This is definitely going to be fun, firing this thing up, coming up with a way to pipe it out while yet having this blocked off. I have some ideas, I do. As I mentioned last night, I really am winging this. This will not be the most elegant of setups by any means. I brought a few things here which I thought that I could use. No matter what, we will have an awesome time. That's for sure. Now before I came out here, I was rummaging around the house thinking about what could I use to make a door for this shelter. And then I saw this. This is a cotton tarp. And I figured that this would work perfectly to drape across the front. Also, since it's not plastic, it won't melt. In a combination with some heat shielding, 
I could definitely make this work, I think. We shall see. <laughs> definitely playing this off the cuff, no doubt about it. Cheers, everybody, cheers. Got the coffee, my water is about to boil for my oatmeal. The day is off to a good start already. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's good. That is really, really good. Right now it is snowing nicely. It's absolutely gorgeous. I tell you, when it really started this morning, it hasn't let up. It's coming down pretty good. It's coming down pretty good. With this old shed here, or any other old shelter, there is something that you need to keep in mind when it comes to sleeping in those, even in the winter months. Yes, it's like 23 degrees Fahrenheit, but there's still spiders in this thing. And even with a little bit of heat, they will start raining down. I've had them just dangling from my face. They're just everywhere. It's just something you have to put up with. You guys know that I hate spiders, but this is worth it. This is worth it. I mean, it, the snow is just pouring down. It's beautiful. Here in just a little bit, we are going to make some serious progress in regards to shutting this door up, gathering some firewood, getting that stove going. So pretty much that's my plan. Drink coffee, eat oatmeal, begin working on the shelter. Now that breakfast is done, coffee's almost done, it is time to get to work. I am going to begin scouring the lands here for wood, bring it inside, chop it up and process it. I will bring it in and process it right on the spot. That way everything's neat and tidy. I mean, this place could become a raging dump in no time <laughs> if I fill it full of wood. That's the plan, let's get to it. So I have a pretty good pile of wood here. Let's process it with the Weatherlings hatchet. This is an awesome little hatchet. To process this wood, I'm using this block here. Now there's a right way and a wrong way to use a block like this for chopping. I will show you the right way. It's all about geometry and the right angles. Now, if you stand over here on the side and you're striking down, you can easily deflect and come toward yourself. But if you stand behind the log and you do your work, there's no way for this blade to come through here. You can't deflect and go around and hit yourself. That is the right way to do it. That is the safe way to do it. I have a pretty good pile of firewood right now. Now, I definitely need some larger stuff and I will address that later on. I think it's time to play with the stove. Let's get this thing fired up, get the right placement. Then we could figure out how we are going to close this off. I like where the stove is, really. It's right here next to the side. I can easily pipe this out. That's good. I could use the cotton tarp basically to block off this door here. I have some aluminum flashing which I purchased and I could shield whatever I need to with it. So this is what I got set up so far. 
And of course, I can adjust this. I can move it as I need to. Basically, I need to get the stove fired up and really get it hot to see where the heat's going to be, where the heat's going to be radiating at. With that insight, I could use the aluminum flashing where I need to. I also have some aluminum foil. I mean, this feels awesome. Already, this shelter is quite a bit warmer, and this thing is not sealed up in the least. Now, speaking of which, I guess it is time to do that. And the question is, how do I want to do that? You know, the question is, how close to this thing can I get the tarp? I don't know. Gosh, it feels so good, guys. <laughs> I have my coffee up here, warming up. Cheers, everybody. Let's get to work. Well, I tell you what, everybody, this is just about as good as I can do. To be straight up and honest, this is the most like jerry-rigged shelter I think I've ever done. But, but, it's awesome. I was able to seal up the front, as you guys can see. I have tin foil right in front of the stove, and that is essentially dissipating the heat so that I don't have to worry about anything melting, catching on fire, and so on. Then I have the cotton tarp right here. I sealed up a big hole over on this side. To be honest, I'm about ready to take this sweater off. Oh, let's see here. What do I need to do? What I need to do is take the handsaw, go out there, saw up some big logs, split those so I have some good pieces of wood to burn tonight. That way, I'm not getting up all night long to feed the fire. It's a little bit after one o'clock. That means it's lunchtime. Let's have lunch and then we will go to work. Lunch today is a can of chicken corn chowder. I have to say that everything about today and this trip is going pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. This shelter is so warm that the snow on the roof is actually melting. I hear it dripping off now. Yes, it is rigged, that's for sure. I love it. My brother and I, we used to do stuff like this all the time when we were younger. And I tell you what, that really has helped me out in my life because there's never been a task that I haven't been able to accomplish. And it's because I'm able to think outside of the box. I'm not bragging or anything like that, but I've always been able to come up with a solution to a problem. If I had to do something, I don't accept failure. I will work on it until I'm dead. But anyways, yeah, this really has worked well so far, so far. It is time for some lunch. If this was sealed up just a little bit more, it'd be a whole lot warmer. It'd be so easy to do. I could use plastic to do it. You could use anything really, Tyvek, aluminum foil. <laughs> So the sun came out, started melting some of this snow. Still pretty cold. I don't think it's warmed up any.
Now in the past, I've talked about using the right tool for the right job, and that is so incredibly true. That is black locust. That's the exact same wood that is used for the support beams in that shed. Super, super strong will last forever and it's the type of wood that you really want to saw through because it's so fibrous it can be hard to chop through now if you're splitting it that's completely different because it's fibrous it splits very well oh my gosh <laughs> it's got to be 60 degrees in here can't believe it's that hot in here. Whew. Honestly, I expected this stove to warm up this space somewhat because there's so many cracks, but no, it's plum hot in here right now. It is disappointing that it's not snowing at the moment, but at the same time, I'm fairly lucky because I need to go use the bathroom. Going number two in the pouring snow is not much fun. You get soaking wet, you get cold. It's awful unless you have some sort of shelter. Guys, check this out. I went to go use the bathroom, I had my toilet paper, I made it to the spot. And I realized that I didn't have anything good to sit on. Everything's covered in snow. So I turn around and I spotted something on the ground. <laughs> Check that out. Antlers, deer antlers. This came from an eight pointer. Four points on here. One, two, three, and four. This is a big old deer. This is probably the guy that's been roughing up that tree over there. This is freaking awesome. This is the first time I've ever found antlers in the woods. Sometimes I call them horns. I know they're antlers. I'm from the south. Sue me. That I'm going to keep forever, guys. Forever. Everything's covered with snow. There's a stump down there that I'm going to sit on, put one cheek on, and I'm going to take these gloves. <laughs> Protect me from the snow and ice. I gotta go. See you guys. It's 3.30 now, that means the day is pretty much coming to an end. The light will be gone here in just a little bit. I think it's time to make a cup of coffee, kick back, relax. I'm done gathering firewood, I'm done chopping stuff up. I will probably have to gather more tomorrow. Now, I know I will. I will definitely have to gather more wood tomorrow, but that's for tomorrow. <laughs> I am so tickled with those antlers. That is so awesome. That is a big old deer. There's no doubt about it. I showed you all in the previous overnight adventure some deer rub. I mean, I actually saw that guy a week later rubbing on another tree. It's funny how many people didn't think that was deer rub. Not everybody's a hunter, I guess. These antlers are so awesome, guys. While this is an eight pointer, this is not a very good judge of how mature or how old the deer was. Antler size does not always relate to maturity. There's many factors involved, genetics, food, disease, environment, and so on. These do look very healthy though. That is such a cool find. I am so thrilled. <laughs> this is going to go in my office. I'm going to keep this forever. It's raining right now, freezing rain, some sleet mixed into. This is about to become an ice storm. Oh boy.
I was really hoping more for snow than ice. I've been kicking back here, just relaxing, right next to the stove. Ah, oh, it's so warm. I actually fell asleep there for about 20 minutes. And, uh, yeah. Woke up a little bit cold, had to stoke the fire, add more wood. Well, as you guys can see, it's getting dark. I've spent the last hour just running around the mountain here looking for dry wood. I'm afraid that this storm is turning more into a freezing rainstorm instead of snow. Now, I was planning on snow, not freezing rain. So, yeah, I figured it was best that I go out and gather as much wood as I can. So, over here in the corner, I have tons and tons of wood long stuff so tomorrow I can hack it up if I need to. The truth is I don't want to be caught with my pants down come tomorrow or maybe even Monday and not have enough firewood. If everything's covered in ice and it's soaking wet it's no good to me. Staying inside of here with no fire isn't the worst thing in the whole world but having a fire really is choice. It's choice. That's all that I can do. I really can't do any more. Since it's raining outside we have a nice fire going Let's have a beer and let's cook some dinner. You guys know me, Mr. Elegant when it comes to food. No, not really. I'm Mr. Lazy. Now tonight, I can't really say I'm cooking because I'm, I'm really just heating up food. But it's good food. We have some barbecue. We have a can of corn. We have some barbecue baked beans. That's right, guys. It is time to eat good. Oh, it smells good. It smells really good. That is going to be so awesome. I don't want the entire can of corn. I'll take about half of it and I'll save the rest for later. I have a Tupperware container, which I'm going to put this in. Now I'm going to put that on the fire. When it comes to beer, I'll drink just about anything. Does that surprise you? <laughs> I'll, I'll eat just about anything, so I'll drink just about anything. Oh, man. Ice cold yingling. That, my friends, is pretty damn good. Beer, barbecue, fire, in the outdoors, found some antlers. Gosh, that's that's awesome. What a fantastic trip this has been. This This really has been a ton of fun for me. I love going out into a situation with random supplies, not really sure what you're going to do, and being able to come up with something. And I, I tell you folks, like, this is awesome. This is awesome. It's about 25 degrees warmer in here than it is outside. Freezing rain, let me tell you, it is slick out there. When I was running around gathering more wood, it's slick. It sounds like it's going to be a nasty ice storm, and it's going to last into Monday. Ah, oh, man. The Forerunner is parked at the bottom of the mountain. That's about half a mile away. This mountain's just too steep. If there's any ice or snow or anything like that, there's no way to get up or down. So it's parked at the very bottom. I was smart enough to throw some extra food in there just in case I needed it, just in case I was stuck out here for longer than I expected. Of course, I have tons of cordage with me so I could set up snares and whatnot. I could do some hunting if I had to. Ah, oh, man, that's good. Now, of course, folks, you have to remember that drinking alcohol actually thins your blood, which means it makes you colder. Thinner blood, you're going to be colder. But luckily, I have this fire. I'm in good shape. It is time to eat. Whew. Piping hot. Let's go for some barbecue and barbecue baked beans. Oh, my gosh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That is freaking awesome. That corn is a really good choice. It really ties everything together. You may have noticed that I took the flashing here. I unrolled it and wrapped it around the stove. The cot goes right here. The heat just rushes right over the top of me. I could say super warm and also be safe at the same time. I'm gonna kick back next to the stove here, have my dinner, drink a couple of beers. Yeah. I'll see you all soon. All right, everybody. Well, it's time for me to call it a night. It's a little bit after 9 o'clock, and as you guys can hear, it's just pouring the rain. It's freezing rain. 
I mean, it transitions over to sleet, then back to freezing rain, and has been doing this for hours. I don't know how much ice is out there, but I suspect that it's quite a bit. I'm full, I'm warm, I've had enough beer to make me sleepy. It's time to call it a night. Hey everybody, I'll see you all in the morning. Stay warm, I'm going to do the same. Now folks, it's almost five o'clock in the morning. This has been one heck of an ice storm. The rain has just been pouring all night long. And it must be really, really thick out there. I'm hearing a lot of breakage. In fact, I've heard numerous trees come down. I mean, just loud, <laughs> splintering explosions, followed by big thuds. Waking up every couple of hours to take care of the fire. And then back to sleep. For anybody who has spent enough time in the outdoors hearing the sounds of falling trees, that's scary. It's kind of hard to sleep when things are breaking. Oh, man. Oh, I almost let the fire go out, so it's cold in here now. Last night was pretty good, to be honest. I stayed warm as long as the fire was going. The aluminum sheeting that I have behind me here really, really helps a lot. Especially when I just kind of angle it. The heat just wraps around and comes to me. It's amazing that you could keep the shed this warm, even with all the holes in it. As far as firewood goes, I don't have a whole, whole lot left, to be honest. I have all that wood that I brought in that I could saw up, but... I went through quite a bit last night and everything that's dry in here, that's it. There's nothing left outside because this turned into a freezing rain event and it, it must be nasty. I, I heard trees breaking and exploding and hitting the ground all night long. As I mentioned in the middle of the night, that's scary. I don't like hearing the sound of breaking trees. Yeah, everything must be pretty darn icy out there. The heat is coming back. I think I'm going to get up. Get some coffee going. Whoa. Hiking around in an ice storm makes me feel stupid, especially when you can hear all of these trees coming down. I mean, you can see how heavy these trees are. It's beautiful, slick, and dangerous this morning. Whoa. Now as far as coffee goes, Funky Folgers, coffee from Israel, 
and something from Japan. I like it extra nasty. So let's give this a shot. Very hot. Too hot. Too hot. Let's see what the forecast is exactly. Because we have a decision to make. And there are some serious obstacles in our way. If we decide to stay another day and night. So guys, here is the forecast for today. Chance of snow mainly after 3, along with sleet and freezing rain mixing in. Tonight, freezing rain and snow before 7, then a chance of snow, and then after 1 a.m., freezing rain. What a combination, right? You know it's a computer that comes up with this. <laughs> That's why it's like, snow before 1, sleet after 2, freezing rain after 3. Nobody would ever sit down and write that. Monday, freezing rain. Monday night, freezing rain. That pretty much tells me everything that I need to know right there. I think this adventure is done. I have a small pile of firewood here. I have some stuff that I could cut up, but that's not enough to last me all night tonight. And you guys have seen what it looks like out there. Everything's coated in roughly half an inch of ice. First off, it'd be impossible to dry that stuff out to get it to burn. And second, it would be foolhardy to go run around in the woods trying to collect firewood now. So, because of that, I think it's time to wrap up this adventure, folks. Let's try this coffee real quick. Nah. <laughs> well, I do like it nasty. And it's nasty, that's for sure. This stuff will make you a sexual Triranosaurus Rex. Name that movie if you can. That's just so, so cool. This is definitely going in my office. I am proud of this. That is the highlight of my trip. I am so happy that I found that. That is so cool. All in all, everyone, this has been a really good trip. This has been a lot of fun. <laughs> I have wanted to camp inside of the shed here since I bought this property however many years ago that was. It definitely needs some work. The bones are good. This thing is solid as a rock. It's not going anywhere. I mean, black locusts, that's wormy oak. Not chestnut, but wormy oak. All of it's rough cut on the mill that used to be on this property at the turn of the century. That's pretty awesome. I mean, there's not a single galvanized nail in this thing. It's breakfast for me, it's time for me to say goodbye to you, and then it's time to bounce on out of here. Carrying all of this down the mountain is so much easier than carrying it up. <laughs> Strength and honor, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for this trip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts about the cabin, what we should do to it. Should we just build something brand new? Maybe over there? Hmm, that's an idea that Susan and I have been entertaining what do you guys think? What do you think? Maybe an off-the-grid cabin. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know. Anyways, as a reminder, the Outdoor Gear Review is agenda-free. No store, not trying to sell you all anything. So if you want to support the channel through Patreon, it is appreciated. Until next time, strength and honor. See you guys around. Mmm. -hmm. Apple, walnut, oatmeal, apples, cranberries, walnuts, multigrain.